Hi, my name is Juan Carlos Vieri from Great 10 IPA Schools. And today, I am going to present my max drive. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have to wear masks when we are in public areas. Since disposable masks are expensive and scarce, people tend to use reusable masks made out of cloth. These reusable masks are washable. However, one big problem with reusable masks is that it is hard to dry them off. Trying to wring them by hand is inefficient and it still leaves the masks damp. Drying them off in the sun takes a very long time, especially on cloudy days. So I had an idea. Is it possible to create a device that could reduce the time taken to dry off reusable masks? When I was looking for possible solutions, I stumbled across my washing machine and asked myself, how could the clothes that come out of the washing machine be much drier than wringing them by hand? I realized that they use centrifugal force to dry off the water. As centrifugal force is directly proportional to the square of angular speed, I need to create a device that could spin the mask at a very high speed. But another, another question arises. How can I spin the mask at a very high speed? Spinning them by hand is very slow. You can use gear ratios, but it is very complicated. So I had an idea. We can use motors just like washing machine. I will call this device the mask dryer. I then started to search for the materials needed, making sure it's accessible and affordable. The materials I finally came up with are two bottles where the small bottle can fit into the large bottle, an electric motor from a broken down toy, and a 12 volt DC power adapter for safety. To begin with, we cut the top part of the small bottle and create holes on the sides to let the water escape. But how can we make those holes? Because the bottle is made of plastic, a simple method is to use heat to create those holes. So we can use solder to apply heat and make the hole at the bottle. And this is how it's going to look like. Next, we are going to attach the gear of the water to the bottom of the small bottle using glue. Then, cut the top part of the large bottle such that it is slightly higher than the smaller bottle. Using the same method as earlier, make a hole at the bottom of the big bottle for the motor to connect to the small bottle. After you glue your motor to the small bottle, it is going to look like this. Connect your motor to the power adapter. Uh, the switch changing the polarity does not damage the motor, but it just changes the direction of rotation. And that's it. The mass dryer is ready to be used. Now, we are going to measure the effectiveness of this device. Now, first of all, we are going to calibrate our balance. And we are going to measure the mass of a wet mask. Here, the mass of a wet mask is 44 grams. We are going to try to wring our mask with our hands. Then measure it again. The mass of a mask that we have wrung with our hand is 33 grams. Then we are going to put this into our mask dryer. Note that the mask I put here has already been wrung.
Alright, we are going to turn it on for one minute. Right, now that it's done, we are going to measure its mass once more time. Here, the mass of the mass that we have dried using our mass dryer is 20 grams, meaning that we have removed 13 more grams of water from the mass that we have run using our hands. So we can say that this device is successful. So for its filling, I made a lid. But this is just optional. In conclusion, the device successfully reduced the time taken to dry off reusable mass. However, for further improvements, we can use heaters or fans to increase the efficiency of this device. Thank you for watching my presentation. Have a nice day.